What is going on everybody? The Mighty Soundwave here and I really like trains and I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2 for you guys today. I'm using the M4A1 with a grenade launcher. Yes, I am a crusty noob, but uh, I, I'm sure you're wondering why are you using the grenade launcher and why do you not have a bunch of really cool attachments or some attachments that would be good for the M4A1. I know the silencer or the red dot or maybe even the holographic side is probably your better choice with the M4A1. But as you can see, I just made a level up right there. This is a my secondary account that I was like, you know, one day I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm going to you know, go go play some Modern Warfare 2 the real way, the legit way, and get some. Uh, not not that I don't play legit like on my other account, but I mean like level up and you know get the cool emblems here that because I enjoy leveling up. I don't know if you guys like have to feel the same way. But to me, half the fun in Call of Duty is the leveling up experience. Like I, I have a lot, I had a lot more fun playing Black Ops when I was leveling up compared to when I'm 15th Prestige, you know, level 50. All just all I gotta do now is work for gold camo. Like when I'm playing Call of Duty, I can't just play for fun. I have to be working for something, whether it's gameplay, gold guns, some attachments. I can't just have everything baby fed to me when it comes to like Call of Duty. So. What I did on my other account, I don't play on this one that much anymore, as I just pick up the chopper gunner out of the care package. Don't you love getting that with dogs, gunships, chopper gunners, and AC-130s? It's a really good thing. And so what I did on my other account, my main account, it didn't get hacked. It, uh, Someone had a jailbroken PS3, and they leveled me up to max level. Everything was unlocked, so I was like, oh my god. So... I was like, you know, I'm going to prestige, I can't handle this, I have to be leveling up and earning things, and I haven't looked back once, and I'm really glad. Now, before I talk about what I'm going to be talking about today, which is your maps, I just wanted to say a little something about the MOAB kill streak, and I talked about it in my point streak video, but maybe you didn't. It is going to be in Modern Warfare 3. Now, 402 didn't confirm it, but just because it doesn't confirm something doesn't mean it's not going to be in the game. I was watching the GameSpot live stream. And someone was like, could you elaborate a little more on that 25 kill streak? And he's like, I have no clue what you're talking about. And then they just stopped talking. And later on, they talked about it again. And he's like, again, I don't really know what he's talking about, but that 25 kill streak nuke, I think I know what he's talking about, but I'm not really sure. And he's like, all I can say is that there's no game ending nuke. So you guys don't have to worry about the game ending nuke. And to me, when somebody got a nuke, enemy or teammate, I was like, ooh, someone got a nuke. And I was like, I bet they're in a good mood right now. So. To me, the, the nuke wasn't really a a bad thing, but I'm going to be talking about your maps that will be available for you guys on launch, and the first map that I see right here is Village. Village is going to be a little bit like Jungle from Black Ops. Next, we have Arkadan, and this map looks a little bit like a mall, so I think it's actually going to be a pretty cool map. I'm sure you've seen gameplay from it from COD XP. Next, we have Baraka. In this map, I've seen some gameplay from this as well. It looks like a Call of Duty 4 map. It looks like Crash, and then one other. I don't remember all the, the uh, multiplayer maps in Call of Duty 4. Next, we have Bootleg. I don't know if I've seen any gameplay from this. Oh, I actually, I do think I have. I think this is like a... Oh, it looks a little bit like... It looks like if you lived in... Um, it looks a little bit like Favela, but it's not Favela. That's all I can say about that. I mean, I haven't seen enough gameplay. You know, I'll find out tomorrow night, and you guys will see a lot of con. You'll see a lot of content from me on Tuesday. Next, we have Carbon. Haven't seen too much gameplay on that, or maybe I have. Next, we have Dome. This is going to be your one v one map. It's it's your shipment from Call of Duty 4. It's your Dome. Hence, this is Dome 2 from World at War. This is your Rust. And this is your Nuketown. This is your small map, the one you play 1v1 on, and it's going to be a pretty cool map. I have a feeling this is going to be the one map that we all love, or the one that I'm going to really love, and it's never going to pop up. I mean, Shipment, Rust, Nuketown, does, don't really pop up. Now, Dome for more of that word does, which is a good thing. Next, we have Downturn. Next, we have Fallen. We have Hard Hat. I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on Hard Hat because I've seen gameplay from this and I'm like, oh, this map looks really cool. And it looks like an industrial center, I guess you could say. But the map looks like it's got an orangey texture to it. The next map, I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be one of my favorite maps, or maybe it won't be one of my favorite maps. We have Interchange. And once again, I'm prejudging all the maps. 
and this is gonna be kinda like Convoy from the map pack in Black Ops and it's gonna be like it's like six different highways that are going to interchange each other hence the map interchange and you're gonna be like under it all and it like some like helicopter crashed and broke it all I'm sure if you play the campaign you'll find out why this map was invented next we have lockdown then we have mission outpost resistance and resistance is gonna be based in Paris because at COD XP the people thought that this map was called Paris next I've seen some gameplay from this one Sea Town and uh, when I was when I was watching the gameplay I thought this map looked pretty neat I, I like the colors to it next we have underground this one was playable at uh, COD XP as well and that's gonna wrap up your maps for launch day on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and this gameplay commentary is gonna be coming to an end that means I'm running out of things to talk about so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay so anyway guys take it easy Tomorrow is day number one. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. All I know is that tomorrow at midnight, I'm going to be getting the game, and I don't know if I'm going to plan on going to sleep that night. But anyways, take it easy, guys. Write in the comments below, because I love when you guys write in the comments below. I just really get a kick out of seeing what you guys have to say. But for now, take it easy, guys. The Mighty Soundwave here, and I'm a noob. Goodbye. Online. Apareceu de repente! Enemy contact! 